Good morning everyone. So I decided I was going to do an update. I'm actually in New Jersey. I flew into New York to see family last minute um, with everything going on, uh, my divorce and just just everything. I, I wanted to get home. I wanted to be with my family and this is a kind of my only little window of opportunity that I had. So I took it and I'm right now I'm currently at my best friend's house. I had the weekend with her and it was amazing and we've been friends since we were before middle school. Um, so that says a lot. And I am going to have another friend uh, pick me up today and take me back down to the island, New York, to see family and hopefully I can see as many as I can before I have to leave on the 20th. But my biggest issue was trying to get my pump delivered here in New York when I live in Nevada and uh, get the script written and written correctly and that was a battle I should have recorded because it took, um, I've had the tube put back in about a month ago and it took up until um, Friday to get my pump. Um, so it happened so it's a good thing and they did include something which I'm going to show you how it works because I was very intrigued by it and it does make my life a lot easier because with the amount of formula that I have to take I can't do it in just eight hours um, without feeling full and feeling the effects of it which is what triggers my purging so I have to be on it like 11 to 13 hours a day which is a majority of the day and that's it, it's time consuming and it's it, it limits you, but this new th apparatus here that came in my box, I just found to be like the answer to to all my struggles. So I'm going to show you how it works real quick and then um, update you a little bit more about how I'm doing and what my goals are and, and stuff like that. But here we go. Okay. Got leaned up against the box, sorry. Okay, so you all guys all remember this, right? This is the kangaroo pump. Everybody who's ever been on a tube feed knows that sound. And knows that it... Hold on. Well, mine apparently died. So let me plug it in, just to show you. Sorry, guys. I don't know what's going on here, but let me see. It should turn on. Because I had it charged yesterday. But these things, they don't last very long. Anyway. So, first thing you do, this is the bag. We fill it. This is Jevity. That's what I'm on right now. And I can get about four of them in here. And they equal about, well, I don't think I should say the calorie count. Um, but I'll put it to you this way. It's nowhere near what I thought. And that's a good thing and a bad thing because you... It just means that it, I have a lot longer on this thing if I were to get my full intake than even what they anticipated. And that's kind of frustrating. But I'm supposed to get five of these a feeding. I can only fit four in the bag. So four is all I get. Um, because it does stress me out. To look at it and it does I have a very hard time this part is easy the hard part is hooking it up to my bed here because I have a very hard time feeling that I'm worthy of it and that I deserve it so 
Uh, I can't tell you how many of these I've thrown away. Full, ready to go, but over 24 hours span, I never used it. And then it has to go in the garbage. So, major waste of money. And I feel terrible about it and selfish, but I, I can't help it. The good part in me is what's doing this and knows that this is what I need. And the sick part of me does not care. And that can be a scary battle. Um, I don't have a home health nurse this time because I know what I'm doing. And there's not much a home health nurse can do. They can't force you. Um, all they do is weigh you. And it can get frustrating, if, especially when my weight starts dropping instead of going up because they don't they can't do much they can just recommend and I feel like I've tried it all at this point so now this look, inside here I know it looks like a lot <clears throat> this is actually what they call the bag hugger so I would put the bag in here like this, and take these straps off. These are extra just to hold it in place, and I wrap it like that. Oops, like that. Let me lay it down. Try to get it on the angle you can see it. There you go. Okay, can you see that? So now we just, it all Velcro's in and holds it in place like it should. And then up here, I don't know if you can see it, it's these little straps, they look like this. That's to hold this in place, clicks in place. So the top part isn't going anywhere. Then take this part and you have it all set up. You set up the amount of feeds, you prime it, you get it ready to go. You lace it through here. I don't know if I've ever showed you how that works, but I will. Basically, it goes like this. This part goes down like that. And you pull it. Pull it around. It's the only little part of this tube that's elastic. And you sit it right in there like that. Close it. Then you sit it in here like so. Velcro it in. You take the part that would hook up to you. Take that little tape off. And there's a little hole right here in this bag. See, I don't know if you can see where my thumb is. We're going to lace it through there. Um, and then you don't have to lace it all just to where your tube is. Now my tube, I have here's my tube. Let me see. Let me get over here. Okay. So my tube is right here. This is my tube connected to me. And I would take the cover off. Very important. Open it, pop it in, and then it would start going. But this is what it would look like. After all that's done. So it zips up. Backpack like that. And I'll leave it from here tight. You 
can strap it on you and then you can you know tape it or do whatever you need to do and then there is only this little piece and you can actually shorten it and stick it back in there so you have less um, and you can be getting fed and on your way and nobody would really know what is happening so so that is the new contraption that I got I'm sorry that my pump died and I didn't get to actually show you how it you know primes through and everything but I think you guys get the gist of it um, so that is what my new way of feeding has been. It beats being hooked up to the, to the pole here. My pole, see it? Yeah, I don't like the pole. But um, it feels very hospital-like and very depressing. This feels like, oh, I can go out and like be a normal human being. And that's important to me. So plus having the kids, it's less for them to see, less for them to want to yank on my little guys. Um, and to be honest, that's sort of an excuse for me not to use it because it can go with me everywhere, you know? I'm still struggling really hard trying to get myself to plug myself in, but, um, you know, I'm, I'm getting there. Uh, I know that it is a little bit scary for people to see, um, and they don't understand it, but it really is a lesser of two evils for me right now because I can't tolerate the feeling of any type of food in my stomach, and if I feel it, I purge it, and I don't want to be purging. Um, my teeth are shot. I have so much dental work I have to get done because of it, and, you know, with everything that's happened to me lately, I, I just, I don't feel my body can handle, um, much more. So, I'm trying to do the, the best thing I think, which is at least getting it in me, even if it takes hours without me knowing. I mean, I do know it does stress me out. I do have to take my anxiety meds because I want to unplug it, but even if I get halfway through it, that is half, that's more than I, I've gotten in a long time. So basically, I'm, I'm still, still fighting. I'm still fighting. I'm, I'm just trying different avenues and different ways to go about um, keeping myself going while I continue to work with my therapist, doing neurofeedback and and just you know trying to trying to live and get a game plan together and figure out how I can be a single mother but a healthy single mother so I can get my my kids back um, if, and I'm just in fulfilling something that I've been wanting to do for a long time which was come home it's been over four years and longer than that since I've seen some people and just be able to, um, you know, visit with family. It's very important. It's grounding for me. It's a good to, for me to be around people who I know genuinely love me. And that's really it. So I just wanted to touch base and let you guys know what, what's been going on. I'll be home on the 20th. I'll try to do another update, but if I don't, I'll do one when I get home. And again, thank you for always watching, for following, for your kind comments and all your support. It really, really means a lot to me. Mwah. Have a good Monday.